What Psalm 51 is, is it's basically David's journal after everything had happened, after he had been confronted by Nathan. And actually in the history at the very top, it says this, a Psalm of David, when the prophet Nathan came to him after he had gone to Bathsheba. And so in Psalm 51, so we see his confession in 2 Samuel 12, but in in Psalm 51, we see David's heart and how he felt. Listen to this. Verse one says this. Be gracious to me, God, according to your faithful love, according to your abundance, Your abundant compassion blot out my rebellion, completely wash away my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. For I am conscious of my rebellion and my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, I have sinned and done this evil in your sight. So so you are right. See that agreement with God. So you are right when you pass sentence, you are blameless when you judge. See that David coming into agreement with God? And you know, I I see these verses, we see David's heart saying, Lord, cleanse me, take away my guilt. I agree with your assessment. I see that I'm a sinner. And I think if we look at David's life, we can say, yeah, we see what you did and it's pretty evident. I would check that in the sin box and that's not what God would want me to do too. And I think sometimes in church, though, the danger for us is to go, well, I've never done anything like that. And isn't it interesting, in Matthew 5, 21, when Jesus specifically talks about adultery and murder, and he says, if you think of someone with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. And if you hate someone, that's like committing murder. And so I think what we're getting to is, is there's a little bit of a danger. I don't know, maybe it's just for me and looking at this and going, yeah, it's very evident that David was a sinner and the things that he did. And then we see in the New Testament, Christ going, unless you think that you're above that, here's, here is God's standard. So we know like Romans 3, 23 says that we have all sinned. Everyone has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Charles Spurgeon says this, there is mercy for a sinner, but there is no mercy for the man who will not own himself a sinner. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.